In this tutorial, I'll show you how to change the display of point groups. Notice here that everything is pretty cluttered in this scenario. So uh, all of the ones that are listed in front of you here are um, ground shots. And if we want to change just how those are displayed, notice you can come over here to our tool space under the Prospector tab, right click, and go to Properties. Uh, at the most basic level, you can um, look at this just in the um, in this t uh, point style and point label here. So notice just by changing this to none and hit apply, all those uh, labels go away. Now I could instead go and just put elevation only and hit apply, and just the elevation shows up. I can also go to the basic tab here and I could uh, change this. Uh, we could change it to any sort of thing here, just a standard. Hit apply. So all of these are going to just change the way that this is visualized. But notice then that you can come in here and make uh, basically make a, a bunch more edits to that. So if I came into basic, notice I can either um, create a new one or edit the current selection. If I go in to edit that, all the markers and the sizings of everything here is listed, the colors of everything. All of that's listed there, and so you can go in and change um, any of these pieces here, change what the marker is, um, the blocks that are used for it, anything like that. So uh, that is a way to change um, all of those values there. And basically what you're shooting for with some of these things is just a way that the map is visualized correctly with all the information that you want set there. So make sure um, to do that in these spots. Do know that if you were to change basic here, this point style, and then also use basic in another point group, that is continually changing that, that for both groups. So basic can be referencing both groups here. If you want to change one of those, you can always come here to go and edit um, and then create a new one or copy the current selection in order to create a separate one for another group if none of the existing label styles are accurate for that.